to everyone so today we are here with inferential statistics unit right so we are going to study about some concepts and do the questions as well right so let's start with it so let's understand first key what is inferential statistics so right now you have studied about descriptive statistics that is you have learned how to find the mean median mode then you have also studied last year about skewness, kurtosis. So all these you have studied in descriptive statistics. So what's new for you now? What is inferential statistics? So as the word inferential goes with to draw the inference, right? So to study about something from the given data, basically. So here that point is population is there. Then from the population, you are going to get one sample and then you are going to do sampling and study it to know about the population, right? So we'll study in detail about these words, population, sample, and sampling, right? In the same. Now, important point here is that inferential statistics is used to draw the inference, that is to draw some conclusion for the data. So it is used to draw conclusions and interpret data, right? So there are different methods to do it. Right, so you go for the statistical hypothesis, this means null hypothesis or alternate hypothesis. Then you do hypothesis testing. This way we have different methods. So either we reject the hypothesis or either we accept. So we have t-test here. So one sample t-test and two sample t-test. So this is what we have in our syllabus, right? So this is what we are going to study about. So first of all, important is what is population, what is sample and what is sampling. Because if we know these terms, then only we can draw some conclusions and interpret the data. So let's start with this. So now what is population? So population is not about the people gathered about, right? Ki India ka population is not. But here we talk about the given object set, the given individuals that we have. That is, jinke baare mein aapko pura conclusion banana hai. Unke liye we have the word population here. Or kitne objects hai usme, kitna size hai, that is population size. Then what is sample? Now you are doing it on a large scale population, full India ka population hai, suppose. Correct, hum usi ka example le lete hai agar. To agar hume koi data infer karna hai, so we can't go to each and every person and ask. To hum kya karenge, hum kuch people ko choose karenge usme se. And then we will draw our conclusion. So that is sample. Jin ko humne choose kiya, that is sample. So it's statistics mein, एक larger data है आपके पास उसमें से आप एक छोटा data ले रहे हो so larger data is population in simple words and the smaller is sample जैसे आपने sets में पढ़ा है आपके पास एक universal set होता है so here universal set is population and one set from that universal set जो उसका sub set है so that is sample तो अगर आप simple words में लें तो sample is going to be the subset of population Correct? Because we cannot reach or get the data from each and every population element. So what do we do? We make a small size ka set, which we call a sample, bolte hai, so that we can infer and give the conclusion. Correct? So this is what we mean by population and sample. Now, sampling kya hota hai, right? Three words we had, population, sample and sampling. Now, when you make a sample, you make a basis. So sampling is a technique to select small groups of population for estimating the characteristics जिससे कि आपको सारे individuals को investigate नहीं करना पड़े so there are different sampling methods that we have so probability sampling होता है और एक होता है non-probability sampling अब इनका क्या meaning है probability sampling और non-probability sampling probability sampling होता है which is unbiased that is randomly you are doing something आपने randomly select किया तो सारे individuals को select करने का probability क्या है same hai. So everyone will get an equal chance of being selected. So that is probability sampling. What is non-probability sampling? That is there is some bias. Correct? So biased hai, that is you choose something ki nahi. I have to take this. So that is biased. So you are not randomly selecting. Aapne jase abhi humne do statements yaha pe likhe hai. Suppose for a survey about daily mobiles used by students. Aapne ek random selection kiya 20 students ka from the school. So that is random sampling. That is probability sampling. No biasing is there. So that is an example of unbiased. 
क्योंकि एक रैंडमली आपने सिलेक्ट कर लिया जो एक सिंपल रैंडम सैम्पलिंग भी है ना नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग में हमने बोला बायस्ड होती है तो बायस का मतलब क्या है सपोज यू आर मेकिंग अ सिलेक्शन फॉर द कॉम्पिटिशन एंड टीचर सिलेक्ट द स्टूडेंट्स हुज रोल नंबर्स एंड विद द डिजिट टू तो टीचर ने ये बोला कि हम एंड विद द डिजिट टू तो सबकी प्रॉबिलिटी खत्म हो जाती है सिर्फ किसकी रह जाती है फॉर द रोल नंबर्स हुज रोल नंबर्स एंड विद द डिजिट टू सो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बाइस्ड करेक्ट सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव फॉर सैम्पलिंग तो हम थोड़ा सा इनके टाइप्स के बारे में पढ़ेंगे व्हाट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग व्हाट इज नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग के टाइप्स सो प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग में वी हैव फोर सिंपल रैंडम स्टैटिफाइड सिस्टमिक एंड क्लस्टर एंड सेम वे वी हैव फोर टाइप्स ऑफ नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग कन्वीनियंस कोटा पर्पजिव एंड स्नोबॉल तो ज़्यादा डिटेल में हम नहीं पढ़ेंगे बट वी शुड नो अबाउट दैम बिकॉज ये सब हमारे लिए क्यों इम्पॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज वी कैन गेट इट इन एम सी क्यू एक सिंपल स्टेटमेंट वो आपको दे सकते हैं दे कैन आस्क यू द डेफिनेशन ऑल्सो कि ये किसका है और दे कैन आस्क यू अ टर्म वॉट इज स्टेटिफाइड सैम्पलिंग एंड ऑल तो थोड़ा सा हम वी विल स्टडी अबाउट दैम राइट सो विल टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एंड गो फॉर इट नाउ लेट स्टडी अबाउट प्रॉबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग फर्स्ट सो उसमें हमारे पास कितने टाइप्स थे फोर सो आई हैव टेकन यूर सिंपल रैंडम सैम्पलिंग फर्स्ट राइट द फर्स्ट वन that is as i told you simply you have been given some individuals and randomly you are doing the selection so that is simple random sampling that is if you have five bags in front of you and you are asked to choose any one bag so what is the probability of choosing any one bag 1 by 5 1 by 5 1 by 5 so equal chances of selecting any one bag now we go for systemic system random sampling systemic random sampling means ek aap system se kar rahe ho ki yes we are we are choosing this but it's random again right so what do we do here as we have written is ki apne suppose population ko pehle alphabetical or order mein arrange kar diya numerical mein arrange kar diya right in increasing ya decreasing order mein arrange kar diya and then you said ki randomly we are going to select every third student every fourth student jaise ek chhota sa hai ki they are selecting every second student right so it becomes systemic random sampling correct so or we say that is we have arranged the students now and now we are going to select every fifth student from the row so that is again random sampling but systemic that is first you have arranged them in the order and then you are making the selections now the next that we had was stratified and cluster now what is stratified and cluster so cluster mein what do we do we make the groups right suppose you have branches in different uh, cities for a company करेक्ट अब आपको कुछ डेटा इन्फर करना है कि हाउ मेनी एम्प्लॉयज आर मेल्स हाउ मेनी आर फीमेल्स और वॉट इज द प्रोग्रेस फॉर द कंपनीज एंड ऑल इन डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स सो वॉट डू वी नो वी डू क्लस्टर्स वी मेक क्लस्टर्स एंड देन वी चूज इट नॉर्थ जोन ईस्ट जोन वेस्ट जोन साउथ जोन वी कैन मेक इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ द नंबर ऑफ कंपनीज गोज ऑन और वी कैन मेक सम ग्रुप्स ऑल्सो एंड देन डू द सिलेक्शन सो दैट इज नोन एज क्लस्टर सैम्पलिंग Now what is stratified sampling? Right, so stratified sampling में क्या है आपके पास आप again you divide it into as I said आप male और female के groups में बना देते हैं correct and then you choose from there correct तो आपने एक groups बनाए and then you make it and choose from there. so strategically you are moving on ki yes first we will make this and then you make uske andar you make some subgroups and under that you make some subgroups and then you make a sample right so that is stratified sampling so there are four types of probability sampling simple random sampling systematic random sampling cluster and stratified clear now we move on to non probability sampling now non probability sampling mein kya hai convenience hai first one so what is convenience aapko convenient lagta hai aapko suppose i say you have to take the population aapne liya suppose from the whole region correct ab now you thought are who will go in that part why should i go for that city what should i do there are some people who are there in the same city i'll go and take the sample so that is your convenience you are seeing so that comes under convenience sampling correct now you have quota now what is this quota goes for that is you have some think ki yes this is for the male and this is for the 
female that you reserve it right so that again becomes a bias suppose you reserve it for 70 percent and you reserve it for 30 percent so that is goes for quota sampling so that is again comes under biased now purposive sampling now purposive sampling may purposely you are doing it suppose i have to make sure ki yes i want the this section of the society to be the selected right so purposely i do that i select it and i give the data and then results will be according to that in favor of that group so that is purpose that again you are biased for that group and you want the data according to that suppose you have selected something and you said ki i have taught aerobics to these 10 15 people so now they want to check whether aerobics really affect them so what did you do you selected only those people who did aerobics so yes the effect will be true and ho sakta hai baki jo aapne select nahi ki un kisi ne aerobics de koi effect nahi hua so that becomes purpose then snowball snowball is very important because it's a new one that you have because otherwise uh, all are related to the words in self gives you the meaning so snowball mein kya hota hai snowball mein aap ek chote se start karte hain and then you reach to a bigger one suppose what happens suppose you uh, i just give you an example ki aapko ek uh, child labor ke upar kuch banana hai so you met one child who is doing that now what happens that child takes you to the other person then that other person takes you to the other so it becomes a chain right so snowball mein aapke paas kya hai one person se you met and through that you met three more persons and those three persons again take you to three more persons and then it goes on your sample grows bigger and bigger right so now here what happens your chain will grow so that is snowball why is it called a snowball kyunki aapke paas snow mein bhi aise hi hota hai aapne agar ek ball banaya so as it rolls down uske upar aur snow aata jata hai and becomes bigger and bigger and bigger so isliye isko kya bolte hain snowball sample so this was just introduction to the terms for the theory part there is nothing like that you are going to solve questions on it but you should know it for mcqs and for the theory part aur ye sab aapko competitive exam cut uske liye bhi bahut important hai these are all the topics being asked in the as a definitions as your interviews and all right so now let's move on to the next now sampling errors what is this term so we have studied about collecting the sample and all now we are coming to sampling errors so sampling errors kya hai hamare paas the difference between population parameter and the sample statistic we have words kya hai population parameter and sample statistic that will take in the next slide so now these two words are related to population and sample to chaliye pehle us pe thoda sa dhyan dete hain now parameter and statistics and statistical inferences ye teen words hain jo hum discuss karenge parameter it is related to population to parameter word jahan bhi hai that is the characteristic of a population that is you are talking about population aur sample ke liye hum kya word use karte hain statistic so it bahut easy hai remember karna p and p and s n s koi bhi aap yaad kar lijiye so aapko remember rahega always now parameter kya hai it is a numerical value that is taken from the entire population jaise ki aapne population mean liya so that becomes a population parameter statistic kya hai related to sample so it is a numerical value taken from a sample and calculated now the parameter ka jo value hai it is computed from all the population observation or statistic ka from the sample only ab jo aapke liye important hai wo ye ki how do we denote it so population ke jitne parameters hote hain we denote it with symbols mostly so mean ke liye we use mu so wherever it is mu it is for the population remember it right so symbols are there for population parameters and for statistic we use the alphabets so x bar we use for mean correct standard deviation ke liye we use s variance ke liye we use s square to jahan pe bhi aapko alphabets dikh rahe hain mostly small alphabets they are for sample correct jaise sample size agar hame population ka lena hota hai to we take capital n Oh, sorry population size we take capital n and for sample size what do we take small n so small letter we are taking for this so agar aapke paas kuch capital letter se hai that will be for population size uska small otherwise symbols and the alphabets this is important because this helps you to understand the formula as well as this helps you 
to understand the given data also. Correct? So now if I just take very simple examples here, okay, suppose you are calculating the average income of people of some region. Correct? So you have to calculate karna hai. So ye kya ban gaya? parameter. Then you have to take the South Delhi ke thousand residents. Ka le Correct? So then that becomes a sample. So this is what we have for parameter and statistics. So we have sampling error. Pe aate. Now the difference between population parameter and sample statistic is sampling error. Dono mein kitna difference hai. That gives you the error. So four difference hume kya karna hota hai? Kam karna hota hai. Ab wo kam karne ke liye hum kya karenge? Right? How do we find that? So uske liye there are different methods that we are going to study in this chapter. So even randomly selected sample also contains sampling errors. Because you have sample randomly choose kiya hai. Right? So now this error can be in the positive direction. Aapka zyada bhi aa sakta hai. Aapka kam bhi aa sakta hai. Right? So aapka error, sampling error mein kya hota hai? Jaise jaise aap apne size ko grow karte jate hai. Estimated sampling error decreases. So aapka sample size jitna bada hota jayega. Ye error kam hota jata hai. Correct? So sampling error ke liye simple formula hai. X bar minus mu. X bar abhi humne kya bataya aapko? It will be the sample mean. Mu kya hoga? Population mean hoga. Dono ka difference will give you sampling error. Ab aap population mean kaise calculate karte hai? Simple formula sigma xi upon n. n kya bola humne? Population size capital letter. Sigma xi upon n small size. Sample size n small. Correct? So reasons for sampling errors kya hote hain se liye? Aapne small size liya, aapne kuch faulty selection kar liya sample ka. Sample results potential variability or population errors. Parameter is estimated differently by different samples. So these can be the reasons for sampling errors. Again very good question for MCQ. Correct? Ab humare paas ek term tha statistical inferences. That is how you draw your results conclusions so uske liye we have different methods so statistical inference ke liye what is the word exactly stands for the inductive process of going from known sample to unknown population aapke paas sample hai ab aap isse population tak kaise reach karenge so there are three types of statistical inferences point estimation interval estimation and hypothesis testing ye teeno hum karne wale hain this is what you have in your syllabus for the numericals Abhi tak hum theory part kar rahe the. But before moving to that, there is one very important theorem. That is central limit theorem. Very, very important. So what does it state? Central limit theorem. You all have studied about normal distribution and bell curve. Ki bell shape ka agar amara graph hota hai, then it goes to normal distribution. Ye hamne probability mein padha hai. So now central limit theorem kya bolte ki distribution of a sample leads to become a normal distribution. जैसे जैसे हमारे सैंपल साइज बड़ा होता जाता है चाहे स्टार्टिंग में उसका शेप कैसा भी हो जैसे अभी हमने ये दिया है ग्रीन कलर का शेप था पर जैसे जैसे हमारा एन जो है वो लार्ज होता जाएगा तो वो बेल शेप अपने आप लेने लगता है करेक्ट सो द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज कि एस एन इंक्रीजेस द सैंपलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बिकम्स नॉर्मल स्टार्टिंग में कैसा भी शेप हो सकता है हो सकता है ऐसा होता तो भी ये एन जैसे जैसे लार्ज होता जाता है इट बिकम्स नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन so, what do you central limit theorem? Kya bolti hai ki always, every data, if you are going in with large number of sample sizes, you will reach a normal distribution. So, they have said that number bola hai ki sample size of 30 or more is considered to be sufficient to hold CLT. And as the sample size becomes larger, our prediction, our inference, we have calculated kiya, that is going to be more accurate. हम सही कंक्लूजन देंगे हम सही रिजल्ट निकालेंगे करेक्ट सो दैट इज व्हाट सेंट्रल लिमिट थ्योरम इज इन सिंपल वे करेक्ट नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन विद दीस थ्री टर्म्स पॉइंट एस्टीमेशन इंटरवल एस्टीमेशन एंड हाइपोथेसिस टेस्टिंग सो पॉइंट एस्टीमेशन इज द फर्स्ट वन इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल वन पॉइंट एस्टीमेशन करेक्ट and then we have internal estimation and the lengthy questions that will be asked from hypothesis testing. So hypothesis testing, see, we can get a question of three mark also. And point estimation, interval estimation, they are just one mark or two mark questions from there. Correct? So let's study about these three one by one. So point estimation, mein aapke paas kya hai? as I just said, it's 
point estimation the word goes correct so let's go for this so point estimation may what do you have you are going to take the point a simple data for the sample correct so sample say up sample ka point uh, estimation nikalenge. suppose i say mean i say standard deviation and then you go for it. so there are simple formulas that we have so point estimation may please ask you for the sample mean right so point estimate of the population mean correct this is what they have asked you so aap kya karenge you will find the sample mean so sample mean mein kya hota reduces to a point that is jo aapka sample mean hai wahi aapka kya ban jayega population mean ho jayega so what's the formula for sample mean sigma xi upon n correct that is what we have written in the previous one also ki sampling error mein bhi humne diya tha sigma xi upon m now if i start you sample standard deviation right so what's the formula root sigma xi minus x bar the whole square upon n minus 1 so simple formula what you which we have done before also so here we have sigma xi minus x bar the whole square upon n jo hamara formula hota hai simply n minus 1 for uh, what do we say variance so uska square root layer becomes standard deviation correct so now here we have n minus 1 now what do we have uh, sample proportion that's the third one right that is exactly same as probability sample proportion kitne proportion mein hai hamara sample from that given data right so that goes on for we normally denote with p bar so that is again x upon n remember dekhi sab jagah humne small symbol small size use ki that is small letters we have used because it's all for sample correct so point estimate of population mean point estimate of population uh, standard deviation point estimate of population proportion so uske liye we find the sample mean sample standard deviation and sample proportion hum iske liye examples lete hain to understand in better way so now let's go for this suppose i have given you one data suppose this is for the marks of students correct 12 13 2 1 5 7 2 correct so this is for the marks of students in the school for some class right or school may suppose us class ke 10 sections hai. So now, of course, you will have 20, 30 students. Though now here we have taken for six students. So 13, 2, 1, 5, 7, 2. So now here the point is we have to find point estimate. What all we have to find? Point estimate of population mean. Point estimate of population standard deviation. And point estimate of So let's do these two first right now population mean ka hume point estimate nikalna hai so this is the sample given to us so 13 2 1 5 7 2 so as i said 10 sections hai. suppose we uh, say submit 30 30 students hai. so 300 students we have so now 13 2 1 5 7 2 marks are out of 20 suppose so now what is the point estimate of population mean ki marks kitne aai honge students ko so we will simply calculate the formula that is sigma xi upon n, which is the sample mean ka formula. So, n is 6. Now, 13 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2. Let's calculate this. So, we get here 13, 2, 15, 16, 21, and 30. So, what will we get? 5. So, this is 5. So, for population mean, what we will say? That's 5. Correct. So that is the point estimate of population mean. So point estimate may you come to a simple point for the population mean, population standard deviation or population proportion. Now standard deviation, what formula I gave you? Sigma xi minus x bar the whole square root and the whole upon n minus 
y now let's calculate this so x x bar now you know 5 so let's calculate this so we get here 13 minus 5 that is 8 square plus 9 so 2 minus 5 is minus 3 ka square is 9 1 minus 5 4 minus 4 ka square is 16 0 4 and then 9 correct the square sense is sub positive over now we go for n minus 1 how many observations are there? 6. So we could come to 5. So let's calculate this. 64 plus 9 plus 16 plus 39 plus 4 is 13. So let's go for this. Now 64 plus 9, 73, 73 and 16 it goes for 89 and then 13. Now let's divide it by 5 again. Right? So what do you get? 102 divided by 5 which is 21. The root will be around 4.5 something. So that's your standard deviation. Population standard deviation ka point estimate. That is we are reducing it to a point. So these questions are very simple. So easily these questions come for 1 mark to 2 marks. Because simply you have to apply the formula of mean standard deviation. Let's take one question for population proportion. Suppose I give you 100 uh, bulbs. Okay. Now I said there are different uh, companies. Suppose we say Surya. Then we take here the next one. Taj, and then we take here the LEDs. Correct. So now we have, suppose these are 40, these are 30, and these are also 30. Correct? So if I ask you what's the population proportion for Bajaj. So simple formula as I gave, x upon n. So now this is 30 upon 100. Right? So that is population proportion ka symbol. So what do we get here? 3 by 10 that is 0.3 so simply you have to calculate as you are going to calculate for for probability so no difference in that so whenever you have the question you have not been given some data related to mean and standard deviation we go for population proportion which is same as probability so this was about point estimation that is you have to calculate the values of for point estimate of population mean, population standard deviation and population proportion using simple formula. Clear? So this was all about point estimation. Clear? So of this was point estimation. Now we come to interval estimation. Now interval estimation mein kya hai? You are going to give the interval. Interval you all know what is interval. Interval aapne padha hai closed, open, Right? So, you go from one value to the other. Suppose I say A to B. Correct? So, what does it mean here? A to B. It means here, suppose you have population mean mu. So, its value is going to lie between A and B. We are giving a range. You are not giving us exact value as we gave for the point estimation. Ki hamare paas population mean hai 5. No. You will give the range. It is from 4 to 6. 4 to 6 ke beech mein ho sakta hai. That is interval estimation. So you have the interval. Ab is mein related kuch terms hai humare jo bohut important hai. That is confidence interval. Margin of error. Significance level, right? So these are important terms related to interval estimation. So now we are going to discuss about these terms in detail, right? So confidence interval kya hota hai, margin of error kya hota hai, significance level kya hota hai, so that you can easily give the values for the interval estimation. So, we will understand a little bit that suppose you have population mean, but what are you going to give as I said? You are going to give an interval. But what is important thing in this? 
कि वॉट डू वी एड एंड सब्रेक्ट इट्स गोइंग टू बी सेम ऑन बोथ द साइड्स करेक्ट अगर आप 10 परसेंट का मार्जिन ले रहे हैं सो so 10 परसेंट से इट विल बी डिक्रीज एंड 10 परसेंट से इट विल बी इंक्रीज ऑन बोथ द साइज तो दोनों साइड पे इट्स गोइंग टू बी सेम सपोज इफ आई गो विद दिस बेल शेप कर्व करेक्ट सो नाउ इफ आई से द मार्जिन ऑफ एरर एक तो आपका म्यू हो गया एक्सैक्टली मिडल करेक्ट so if i say interval so a will be this side suppose and b will be this side so this is margin of error on both the sides one side it will be negative one side it will be positive so if we say margin of error ko if we are denoting with this symbol e so mu mein se you are subtracting e and mu mein you are adding e but it's going to be same on both the sides so margin of error आपका क्या है आप कितना इंटरवल को बड़ा कर रहे हैं कितना आप एरर दे रहे हैं फाइव परसेंट टेन परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट नाइन्टी परसेंट वॉट एवर इट इज करेक्ट ऑफकोर्स मार्जिन ऑफ एरर छोटा होना चाहिए हमारे पास सो दैट वी कैन गिव अ बेटर आइडिया ऑफ द रिजल्ट करेक्ट सो वॉट वी हैव यर सो इक्वली इट विल बी डिवाइडेड सो म्यू पॉइंट एस्टिमेट में एग्जैक्ट म्यू आप देते हैं इंटरवल में आप क्या करते हैं यू इंक्रीज द रीजन बेसिकली करेक्ट सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी सेम ऑन बोथ द साइड करेक्ट सो अफ आई सेम यू इज हंड्रेड करेक्ट सो इफ आई गो फिफ्टी प्लस एंड फिफ्टी निगेटिव सो वॉट विल इट बी फिफ्टी हियर एंड वन फिफ्टी हियर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी फ्रॉम बोथ साइड फाइव 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 से करेक्ट सो इट विल बी नाइनटी फाइव एंड दिस विल बी वॉट वन हंड्रेड फाइव सो दिस इज हाउ इट गोज इफ आई से टेन परसेंट राइट सो इफ आई गो टेन फिर नाइनटी हंड्रेड एंड हियर वॉट विल कम वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन so this is how do we give the interval correct so i hope we'll continue with this in the next part so if you have understood it please like share and subscribe thank you everyone